<sighs> okay, I'm live. This is unannounced. Oh, and this is unfortunate. Penny, come, come, right here, come. Oh, she's chasing them off. Isn't that terrible? Anyway, uh, I am just uh, showing off <laughs> the bighorn sheep that live in uh, the, cl the cliffs behind my house. And they have come down and they are in my yard. Of Obviously, this isn't all of them. There's a lot more up there. And hello. And um, they are grazing in my yard. It's mostly females and their babies. Uh, there is one male in the group. I don't see him right now. Uh, but I don't think he's an adult male. And uh, normally I wouldn't share this stuff um, because it's not aviation related, but it is related to where I live. And, and I do see these while I'm flying, um, up on the, mostly up in the cliffs. So this is, uh, this little baby's trying to nurse on her mom. And mom's like, all oh, right. Uh, we don't eat them. Uh, at least I don't eat them. I'm assuming somebody hunts for them. What's good is that they're eating my weeds. Um, I have 10 acres of land and I do not, uh, most of it I just let be wild. Uh, the only reason that the area that they're in is mowed, partially mowed, is because I'm trying to keep the the weeds down. Yeah, these are wild. Um, they come down off the cliffs. Let me get a round. I'm trying not to make a bouncy video. Whoops. So anyway, that's... Uh, the sheep. You can see my, my glamping tent in the background there. And then uh, this is looking out the front of my house. And then these are the cliffs. And this is where they come down from every day. So they come down uh, from there. Yeah, I, I actually like living here a lot. And uh, they were across the road and then they just all gathered up over here. And uh, the odd thing is, is I've got folks uh, staying in my tent, except they're not here right now. And that always happens. Let me see if I could zoom in without losing too much clarity. Oops. Oh, that's a little bit better. You can actually see where my helicopter lives. You can actually almost see my helicopter. Uh, you see the hangar down there almost in the middle of the picture. Uh, the helicopter is right to the right of that. So that's where it lives during the summer. And there's a long story for that. I'd really rather not go into it. Let's just say it has a lot to do with people that I'm really glad are no longer around. Makes the neighborhood a lot nicer. Anyway, I'm gonna zoom out because now it's really shaky. I planted that tree four years ago. I cannot believe how big it's gotten. That's a cottonwood, not a cottonwood, that's an aspen, my, my bad. And uh, anyway, they're all together now. If you have any questions um, about the area, about the, uh, about, uh, not about flying. I don't wanna talk about flying now. I, I'm all flied out. Uh, ask about the area, ask about um, the sheep. I don't know. This is from a phone camera. This is, I have a, an iPhone 8 Plus. Um, long story how I got it. Um, basically it was a buy one, get one free, which turned out to not exactly be free, but it's got a nice big screen. So I use it for a lot of my, um, YouTube stuff. Uh, I could see it better. And it's a decent picture. Uh, I am at approximately 1,600 feet. And the Columbia River, which is down there, I'll swing around so you could see it down there. That's about 800 feet below me. The airport is straight across um, on the other plateau, the other side. The climate here is very much like uh, Flagstaff or Prescott, Arizona. In fact, it even looks like uh, the areas around Flagstaff or, Prescott, Flagstaff or Prescott, other than it is, um, uh, we've got orchards and they don't have orchards there. So anyway, nice day, no clouds. Today is, I don't know, is today the 19th or the 20th? I think it's the 19th. Tomorrow's my last uh, day on cherry season. Thank you. Scary place for the comment. And I don't know, there's not much else to show you here. I can, let me zoom in on them again so you can really see them. I don't know, is the picture clear or not? I can't even tell. It's so funny because I have people. So I don't grow grapes. My neighbors do. There's a winery a half a mile down the road. Uh, and next door to the winery is another home. 
And uh, he actually grows grapes too. He started growing grapes for the winery. I'm gonna zoom back out because it's really shaky. Um, what do I do in the off season? I goof off an awful lot. I do some flights, uh, tours and charters. Um, the helicopter's only got 120 hours left till overhaul, so I'm really trying not to fly it very much right now. Um, and that's mostly because I need to save up for the overhaul, and I also want it to last one more cherry season. So 120 hours will be good. 100 hours would be good. Uh, but less than that, I, I would probably have a problem. So... Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. It is beautiful here. It's a little, it's not actually that hazy today. You can see, let's see, pick this up again. So the mountains way off in the distance, it looked kind of gray. That's the North Cascades. And then over here, there's like this flat mesa that you could see the side of. And then there's some mountains way in the distance poking up. It's kind of in the middle of the picture now uh, by my wind ribbon there. Uh, those are the enchantments out by Leavenworth. Uh, the cliff behind my house so far is pretty stable. It hasn't dropped anything too big. Uh, we did have a little rock slide. Um, oh gosh, it's got to be at least a month ago now. And that was pretty scary. Uh, it was like this smaller rock that you see there, the talus stones. Uh, they came down. It was probably started by the sheep. Um, at, in the evening, the sheep will go back up there and they go all the way up to the top. And... Um, they will, as they go up, they sometimes dislodge rocks and they tumble down and sometimes they just tumble down really big. But it's pretty stable. I'm not worried about it. I'm also quite a distance away. So even if we did have a big slide, um, I'd be pretty safe right here. My neighbor, eh, not so much. Not my problem. I don't know what else to tell you. Just, uh, just, I don't know, the sheep. The orchards around me are um, mostly cherry and apple orchards. They mowed that big open flat area of ground there. That used to be a cherry orchard. They tore it out about four years ago, five years ago maybe. And that one off on the right, the closest one off to the left there, that's a cherry orchard that I um, I, uh, I dry. It's all picked now. Yeah, the tent is an Airbnb. It's a glamping tent, so inside it's fully furnished. It's got a bed and a table and chairs and a comfy table. Looks like one of the sheep are going right down the path to it. Um, and then outside there's like a little kitchen. There's, it's got a covered deck and a kitchen, and it looks out over the view. It's actually really nice. I get a lot of good reviews on it. Glamping with a view at the area is what it's called, if anybody's in Washington. Uh, yes, I could. Uh, if there was an emergency, I could definitely land on the terrain. Um, right here, it's really not that bad. I've landed, I land here on this flat area. I've landed in the gravel of my driveway. I've landed in the paved part of my driveway in front of the garage door. I've landed on a platform there. Um, let's see, where else have I landed? That's it. I mean, every place else has got tall weeds and I would run the risk of catching them on fire from the hot engine if I landed on them. This area is extremely prone to uh, fire danger. So, um, it's right now, it's really high fire danger. We haven't had rain in well over a week. We had a lot of rain when we did, but it was over a week ago. There's none in the forecast. You could see blue sky. Everyone says Washington, oh, it's, it rains there all the time. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't rain here all the time. If I did, I would be rich. <laughs> they are checking out that tent. It looks really funny to see them all standing there looking at the tent. I just, yeah, t exactly, tinder dry. They're just like looking like, yeah, should we go down there? I don't know. Should we go down there? The tent's nice because it's, it's away from the house, so it's kind of private. We had a fire up here uh, in the cliffs behind the house. So back up here, there's ponderosa pines up there, and there's also more of this kind of grass. And back in 2013, there was a fire up there. And I remember I hadn't bought here yet. I had decided to buy here, but I didn't actually own it yet. And I was across the... Uh, the lake, river uh, at the airport looking out over here at night at a party and uh, the, the ponderosa pines were literally exploding into flames and they evacuated this whole road. They thought that some of the, the burning debris might come down and get it started down here, but it didn't. So I just think that's really weird that they're all looking at the tent. I wish my uh, guest was there. They really eat this stuff up. Most of them are from Seattle and they don't get to see stuff like this very often. 
Can you even see them still? I'll zoom in one more time. So they'll, these sheep will come down every day. They don't always come to my yard. They don't usually come this close to the house. Uh, they're usually up by the road. Um, and uh, they'll graze on the weeds, which is great because that uh, helps us with weed control a little bit. And then they'll just meander off and uh, go about their business somewhere else. And then at the end of the day, they'll climb up the hill. And if, you, if it's really quiet out, it's not too windy, and you listen carefully, you can hear the rocks, the little rocks tumbling down. And as they tumble down, if you look up or if you've got binoculars and look up, if you've got really uh, sharp eyes, you can uh, see them up there. I don't think they'll start chewing on the tent. They're actually not that close. It looks like they're really close. They're still about, gosh, you're at least 20 feet away, maybe 30 feet away. I've been thinking about putting out a water trough for them uh, to see if I can get, attract them. That in a bale of hay, that'll get them down here every time. Just throw that out in front of my tent <laughs> for my guests. I don't know how the wildlife people would like that though. So anyway, I'm going to go back in because this has got to be boring by now. Uh, just take another look at the cliffs. Cliffs are about a thousand feet above the house. That is basalt. Um, I did a video flight yesterday with Nick uh, Zentner. He's a uh, geologist from Ellensburg and he told me a lot of information about all this and uh, that's probably the last little bit we got before the camera crapped out. Uh, and I am not a happy camper about the camera crapping out, uh, but it happens uh, and we'll try to make what we can from what we got. Let's just go down my driveway here. They're walking off. Yeah, you can see them now on the right of this tree. Their butts are white. Oops. And that's how they're easy to see when they move. Now, thank you for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it wasn't about aviation, although you did manage to get me to talk about the helicopter a little. Um, hope you guys uh, stay, keep tuning in. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, and I hope to give you lots more good content. Thanks very much. Thanks for checking in. I love it when you guys come by and, and say hi. Bye.